Hello everybody, welcome to UCM Mokos Venture, this is an image like, comment, subscribe, guys, welcome back, welcome back. So guys, I'm doing a match preview, I'm playing against Super Sports, it's going to be an interesting game. And Nabi did say that, ah, it's not fair, the fact that we are playing live games and whatnot, because these guys are watching us, they're learning our strategies, and now probably have to change our penalty takers and whatnot. Yeah, I'm not going to... Uh, dwell on that but yeah they're playing against super sports our first game because we know that you are playing uh, against uh, them next week already so it's gonna be an interesting encounter it's nabi against hand two technicians like two technicians who are very good are very good the other one can pack the pass the other one doesn't matter if he's playing against sundowns he's playing against uh, your super sports is attacking all out and that's one thing i love about my new coach nabi so as we are playing now we have interesting things or interesting uh, points to talk about when you look at the number of players who played the previous game in that friendly cup game and you ask like who really raised their hands their hands to say that coach i want to give you a hard time in terms of you selecting a starting 11. i'll say a few people impressed me from that team uh, those who are fringe players obvious those who are been regulars some drop their heads and some like you don't know where you stand with them so on terms of injuries Sile is out Sile is out is still injured we don't know how long will be uh, out and then Serino uh, is gonna be back however Nabi came out saying that he does not know if he's fully fit however he's gonna try and play him but he probably is not gonna play in 90 minutes and then the question then comes is that's the same question that you should not kind of ask whether you like him or not but this question he's like i don't want this coach to force and to be over overly reliant on serena because i mean yes he's making the team play he's making the team tick and whatnot is their game changer and all those things however he's like but what about Keza? She's identifying other players who would then raise their hands and take over from this guy. Then the question then I'm asking is that, is there anyone in the previous game who raised his hand and said that I'm going to take over from Serena? If he's not around, the question was no. Playing as a wing, no. There's no winger for me that stood out. There's no winger that raised his hand and said that you know what i want to play ahead of your sereno or i will cover or i'll take care of this position until sereno comes back and then i'll go to my position you say in front of villagas in front of villagas he came on and changed the game changed the competition of the game but we can't be overly reliant over a young boy can't put such pressure uh, upon a young boy uh, like villagas remember remember from the villagers is still adjusting to PSL. ed is still getting there he is young so we can't put so much pressure upon him you said but suddenly you said that if they're young if they're they're good enough then uh, age doesn't mean anything sure it doesn't mean anything but we also need to protect and manage these players as i've been saying you can't play this guy 19 minutes he's still young for him to play 19 minutes slowly but surely there will come a time where he plays 19 minutes but at this time he's not there at the moment according to me not according to anyone according to me you can tell me what you think but as according to me he's not at that stage yet so he can play 19 minutes hence the coach has been slowly introducing him second half uh, studying him there and there but mainly it's been a, a game changer who's coming from the bench so nabi says that serino is still out injured so i don't think there's anyone who raised his hand enough so who can start say serino doesn't start because of the injured who can start because Saile was also um, is also injured who can start there you say modi modi sure for me modi is one of our best uh, accusations in the last few years because we saw the number of goals that he scored as well last season i think he scored five goals and all those five goals and probably two or so assist he got all those um goal uh, contributions in the first half of the season then the second half of the season it all dipped down like in terms of form so who can play they say serino is not playing because the coach is preserving him for the league because the coach needs to check that as well am i going to play this guy because i want to uh advance to the next round of the of this cup or oh, i'm thinking about the points that i'm about to get or oh, i'm gonna fight for next next game 
Those are the questions the coach needs to uh, decide on. However, with this injury, we don't know, like we are told that it's going to be two weeks short, but we don't know how serious this injury is. So can the coach start him playing 60, 70 minutes? I would opt for that because there's no one, like I said in the previous game, that raised his hand to say that I want to start ahead of Serena. So I'm anticipating that you're going to go through the next round. We're going to win 2 nil. My worry, my worry is that we have a gold child there up front. We are creating chances. Not that as if our team is not creating chances. It's not creating chances, but we are missing chances. And we are greedy up front. We don't want to share uh, the responsibility or share goals for that matter. So, for me, that's where my worry is. So, me saying that we're going to win 2-0, I'm anticipating and I'm hoping that the other guys will come to the party and ease off the pressure from, from uh, this guy. From Ranga, we can't be anticipating or oh, asking Ranga to score all the games. We can't be expecting that he's a striker who needs other players. It's, everyone is in the field of play can score goals. Anyone in the field of play can score goals. So that's where your offensive players mostly need to come to the party. That's where we need to be led at when we get chances. That's where we need to be clinical when we get those set pieces. And we need to like clinical and use those chances. So... For me, I see us progressing to the next game. It might not be Ranga who score, but it might be other players. It might even score uh, this game. But we need to be careful that we don't put so much pressure and we not uh, end up being a. Um, we don't end up putting like unnecessary pressure upon this guy, and then we starting we start to cause him to hate uh, the game and we start to cause him to drop his form because like he's like. I can't satisfy you guys because I mean I'm trying you see that I'm trying because in as much as you're trying some of you don't see that he's trying you don't see his link up play with other uh, uh, players yes we missed that chance and whatnot but we also need to hold other players accountable as well so that they also chip in a goal or two as well and then we then this guy slowly would then get back to his uh, groove and then we'll find his targets I mean this season already has scored two goals and created one goal so we can't really pressurize him that much and then we let go of other players on the side. So for me, how would I want us to attack this game the same way as you we attacked against Sundowns? You can't drop, we can't afford to drop our standard. But there will come a time where opponents are getting 5 nil. Watch your space. You look at the number of chances and then you will see what I'm talking about. That if we are to build those chances, that there are chances who there are chances that other teams will get 5 nil. You will get there, you will see. You will see this type of football. It requires or it then shows us that we can score so many goals. And he doesn't shut the back door as soon as he scores now. So he's not gonna he's not gonna start now against Super Sports when he scores those goals. I'm not saying that he's gonna score five goals, but if it happens, you'll remember that I did say to you that because of the type of football that you are playing, there will come a time where opponents are getting like big margins. You will see. Watch the space, you will see. So my predictions in terms of um, the starting lineup, I wouldn't change Voma just to create that competition. I wouldn't change Voma and the fact that he, he, he played very well the last game. Yes, he had that one save that he made because this other guy, guys, I mean, Maroma did not get so many chances. So keep him, like him shouting, calling those balls and saying that mine and whatnot. And I'll say that we don't need to stress about or we don't need to. A change so I would say Voma for me he did raise his hand so therefore as he gave his the shout I would say let's start Voma let's start Voma start Voma ahead and then let's see what's gonna happen start Voma and then let's see what's gonna happen so start Voma Voma on the sticks then on the right it's Frosler because yeah Solomon's is not playing don't know for whatever reason Solomon's is not playing yes he's coming back from an injury but why is he not getting a few minutes that we can see him in a competitive game I don't know so Voma, then on the left it's cross, and then two center backs. I don't think uh, given um, given he gave his all that for me to say that he, uh, Dorsley needs to start on the bench. I don't think so. So I'll recall Dorsley and then Inasho. Don't change anything there at the back except the keeper. Not that he that it did anything wrong but it's for me to say that let's also have this guy to gain confidence and for Ndwari to know that this uh, starting eleven or starting lineup is not guaranteed so you need to fight as well create the competition but some of you would ask why would you drop Ndwari if he did not do anything wrong 
I, that's a fair, 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 fair point and a fair question. So, but for me, I'll say Stan Vooman. Let's see what he can give us in the competitive game and then we'll take it from there. So, CDM Blom, no chance that your, your Mteto will start. Like this coach has shown us that really, really Mteto is not in his plans. So, Blom, so I'll play Blom with, <laughs> I'll play Blom with this guy, with Zwan. Zwane for me, he raised his hand that, you know what, I'm serious about my game and I want to improve and I want to learn. So I'll start that combination and then I can change it later on. But for me, I'll start the, that um, those two guys. I'll start Blom and Zwane. Like, because for me, Zwane is going ahead, he's, for, he's going forward, he's pitching those passes, he's changing the completion, controlling the tempo of the game. And then your Blom is like making sure that our defense is shielded. So I wouldn't change anything because I, it looks like that's the combination that will work going forward. And then on the right, on the right hand side, okay, Sile is out, so therefore let it be. So I'll start, I'll start Modi on the right. I'll start Modi on the right, and then on the left, I'll start Sereno. Yeah, you get me. I'll start Sereno, Sereno, and then Modi, and then in front of Siteb, I mean, Siteb is no longer there. In front of Ntetwa, and I'm mean, in front of Blom and Zwane, I'll start this young boy, Mdusha I will not drop Mdusha But also, we need to be aware that he's not always going to give his all and get a performance. So... We need also to manage him because he's still also young. We shouldn't forget that he's also still young. But for me, for now, let him start and then sub him in the second half. Let him start. And then if you see that you know what he's giving you more and you can't drop him, then leave him there. And then probably next game, don't start him. It's not you saying that you you you, you underperformed the previous game, but it's you saying that I'm managing you as a player. So, Dushawalala and then in front Ranga. I wouldn't change anything. Ranga, Dushawalala, Sereno, Modi, and then... And then maybe Zwane and um, Zwane and this boy and Blom. And then left le left back it's cross right right back it's Frosland. And then on the two pairing center pairing and then Dotli and Inasho on the sticks for man. That will be my starting eleven. And I've told you why I'll start those guys. Tell me why would you not start those guys? Tell me who would you start and why would you not start those guys? And who would be your man of the match in this game? And who would score goals for, 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 for us? For me, I would say, uh, really on this game, I would be happy if Ranga continues on the form and score goals and then re rediscover his form. It was just one game, sure, but just get it going. But if not, I'm seeing you do shout the scoring again. But I'm anticipating a 2-0 win. What are your thoughts? I'm out. FC Marcos Venture. Love you. Cheers.